G'day guys, welcome back. I'm gonna be playing with my new um, Druzy Edge Coaster Mold today. It's got the edge around there. I've just actually pushed in my little insert, my Druzy insert. And um, I'm, going, I'm using the Platinum High Temp 100 resin. As the name suggests, 100 degrees Celsius. It's heat resistant to, which is 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, my inspiration today is this gorgeous crystal heart here. So it's got the purple amethyst color and then on the edges, I don't think you can see that, it's more of a clear along the edges and it gets lighter and then in the middle it gets darker. So that's my inspiration. I am going to make a mold of that later on this week. <laughs> so it will be available to buy if anyone wants a, a crystal heart mold. So because I want it to be crystal looking, I'm going to use transparent colors. I've got a little bit of that dark purple that's going to be on the inside and it's going to get lighter and lighter and hopefully clear on the outside. I'm going to use this one, purple. Metallic Violet, Metallic Violet Alcohol Ink. It's by Marabou. Actually, I probably should have shaken it. It's got a little ball in there, so you just gotta give it a really good shake. Whoops, I dripped. We'll see what I, that's, I think that's three drops. We'll see how that looks. I'm gonna keep it quite sort of transparent looking. So I'll come up behind and see if I'm still taping. I thought I was taping before and it, it had turned off. I probably didn't press the uh, record button hard enough. <laughs> I thought it was working and here I am chatting away. And it wasn't until I had to go and get a different purple ink that I realised I'm not taping anymore. Alright, that needs one, two, three, four, five. It's a bit more colour. And of course I've got it everywhere. So this high temp 100 resin, uh, it, ha it has a 25 minute work time. So once it's poured, we need to get a bit of a wriggle on. Look at that, looks pretty. Now to test what your color is going to do, just put a little bit on a piece of paper towel because it looks much darker in there. So if, if you're happy with that, fine. If you're not, add a tiny bit more. And let's add one more drop. Okay, so that's the dark purple, the light purple. And then the other one, the main one, oh gosh, look, it's splashed. The, no, oh, shoe flying. You're following me. I'm in my new, oh, this is my dog room. I'm in my dog room. Which, will, which was my old studio. It feels funny being back in my old studio, but um, it's now my dog room. Clean this up. Gosh. All right, so dark purple, light purple. The next one is this one. It is Rainbow by um, Marabou. It's a rainbow alcohol ink. I don't think I've actually used it before. The, I got the rainbow one from Amazon and the other colours the lovely Stephanie Hancock sent me as a gift. What a lovely girl. Um, it came with lots of different colours and it came with glitters, glitter, glitter ink, alcohol inks, regular alcohol inks. Um, and then someone suggested I buy the rainbow and I bought that on Amazon but I haven't used it yet. It's very, it's very pretty, very glittery. Let's put a bit more in. Just a squirt, I'm not counting drops, it's just a squirt. Because it hasn't actually got a colour per se. It's just very fine glitter. And then I've got a tiny little bit of clear left there if I need it. Alright, I can feel the resin warming up, so let's get started. Now the other thing I want to do is because this has got the crystal jaggedy edges, what I'm going to try and do to is sort of try and avoid bubbles as much as possible. I'm going to put my gloved finger into the resin and I'm just going to kind of push 
that resin into the edges. I can hear it sort of going squelch, squelch as the bubbles are popping. Look, I don't know if this is going to help or not because it's quite a thick resin that I'm using. And yes, I could use a thinner resin. Um, I've got a thinner resin which would be perfect for this, the Platinum Ultra Clear. But it takes a lot longer to unmold. I can unmold this one in about four hours. The Ultra Clear, I wouldn't be able to unmold until tomorrow. So, being impatient as I am, um, I'm just going to use this and see if that will help. And of course, I've got a bit of overflow there. I don't mind if my resin starts to kind of thicken up a little bit. I think it might help, you know, the colours not run so much. I'm worried about that it's not taking anymore. It'll be run up behind. You're in a very makeshift area. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a little tiny workbench. It's not even big enough for my tripod. So the tripod's sitting on a stool, and then I have to climb up the ladder to see the screen. All right. I think that's, I think we go, or I think we're right to go. Mold. I want to keep my new mold clean. It will be available in my eBay store shortly, you guys. I'm just so busy. I haven't haven't got there yet. Okay, so the first thing I want to oh my gosh, this has moved. Oh my gosh. See, I wasn't sure if um if it would be sticky enough. Must have knocked it. Get back in there. I just made that myself. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Now I want to put the rainbow around the outside, like so. Most of it's going to be rainbow. And then this one. I was doing a puddle pour, I'd do a puddle right in the middle of that, but I'm not. I'm trying not to go over the top of it. Okay, so that's that one. Oh, I made up uh, 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. So that gave me just enough to do this particular coaster. Now I am hoping that um, you know the colours are gonna blend a little bit. <laughs> but look, if you if you look at a geo, have you ever looked at like an agate slice and it's got those rings on it? Um, so yeah, I, I don't mind if I get that either. I think that would look really quite realistic. I've got a little bit left of this. Going through there. So I'm hoping I'm going to have like more clear edges rather than purple edges. But we'll see. Resin does what resin wants to do. Done. Now I've got a tiny bit of clear left. What I thought I would do with the clear, actually I might put it in here, that way I can pinch the cup. It's a thicker resin, this one, thicker than the 360 plus that I would normally use. I'm eager to try it for blooms. So we'll see. The thing is, like, it's really tricky with a good bloom for a good bloom resin because I want it to be thick to hold the weight of the white, but then I want it to have a long working time so that we get that movement. Because if it's really thick, you know what it's like if you're trying to do blooms, if your resin's really thick, it won't move. So uh, the lovely days at Platinum is making me a, a bloom resin. So I'm really looking forward to receiving that and Seeing how that goes. Alright, I'm just going to put a little bit of clear around there. A little 
bit more. Oops, I've gone over the edge, over the top, but not, but not fiddle. I might dislodge that piece again. And I'm just putting a little bit more clear around here, just to fill the mold up. So this mold takes about 100 grams. About three and a half ounces ish. Ish. And um, yeah, we'll see what it looks like, eh? Hopefully it'll be pretty. Maybe I'll get those rings I was talking about. But yeah, I definitely want um, clear around the outside. Now the, the other thing, with this little insert, on the other side of it, it's got the druzies, the crystals, but I can't physically get in there and um, you know wipe the, the bubbles down. You know how you get with your silicone stick or something, you'd run around it and, and release your bubbles. Well, I can't do that with this one. Um, I guess I could if I flipped that over, then I could, but I wanted this to be the top. I am going to make a few more of these little jersey inserts. Okay, that's looking good. We're getting a bit of movement. I wonder if I should just... No, I shouldn't, should I? I shouldn't fiddle. She says as she fiddles. No. I just thought if I could break that ring up, but like I said, if you look at a, an agate slice, nine times out of ten, they've got rings on them. So I'm just going to leave it like that. I've got the clear outside that I wanted. I've got my light purple. I've got my darker purple. I've got a little bit of clear around there that's kind of moving in. So hopefully that will be pretty. Let me just clean up my sticks and then I can take my gloves off, eh? Hey? And then I can turn off the camera. It's alright if you're not you know, videoing, but if you're videoing, it's a good idea to clean everything, wipe all your sticks down, throw your rubbish out if you've got any rubbish, clean your gloves with some alcohol, and take your gloves off. Oh my gosh, alright, here we go. Uh, let's come down and have a look. Let's go down and have a look at the close-up, shall we? Here we go. That first purple looks quite pink through the screen. It's not as pink as that. I wish I could get correct colours. It's, it's not, not quite as pink. But so we can see some, some movement there. Oh, are they bubbles? Are they bubbles? Or is that just a... I think it's just a reflection. No, I think it's it's a ref, those little tiny things. They're just reflections of the ring light. Yep, no bubbles. But look at the sparkle. You see, it actually looks like a little blue sparkle in there. It's probably picking up my navy blue art scrubs that I'm wearing. I, I don't know. So, very exciting. Hopefully, it'll look pretty. Um, yeah. Wish me luck. Uh, we can unmold uh, later on today. See you soon. Righto, so I am back. It's been about hmm, probably four hours and it's done. Look, I found this. <laughs> you may remember me saying that I used to sell these druzy pendant types things with the electroplating on and I've got quite a few left over. Some that I wear, some that are still in boxes. And I was looking at this one and you can see the rings around it. I mean, this one hasn't got crystal edge. It's got the gold electroplating, but it's got, if we can get close enough, you can see that it's got like a, a crystal-y effect. And it's definitely got the lines. Some are lighter, some are darker. And then we've got the crystals in the center. So I don't think mine's going to be too different. <laughs> I mean, obviously the colours are, but let's get it out. Ooh, it 
it's all sparkly, look at it. Right, move that out of the way for a minute. Put it under here. Okay, I may have to put um, some white or something underneath so that you can see. Now, I always, I always struggle showing you the, the crystals. It just, I don't know how to make it focus. All right, but anyway, we need to get this little druzy out, little insert. So just roll it basically. It comes out really easily. Look at that. So that's all it is. It's just that little little piece of silicone. You can put it down that way and press it down. You can put it down that way and press it down. Um, I've got a tiny little bit of overflow here that I'll just basically pick off. It's so thin. Just pick it off really easily. And there we go. All right, so it probably <laughs> I probably could have made it a little bit darker. I wasn't sure. I, was like, I wasn't sure what to do with it. But you can see the that rainbow glitter in there. Hang on, I'm going to get some white paper to put behind it so that you can see. Or well, maybe black. This is my little folder with my coloured paper in it. Oh, that'll work. Okay, so I've got different colours. Put that on. There you go. Now you can see the rainbow. That rainbow ink. Look at that. And you can see a little bit of the darker purple there. Wish I could show you the edge. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get in there and show you the crystals. Look, look, it's working, it's working. Look at the crystals shimmering. And the ring light's trying to, because it's, it's right there. <laughs> oh gosh, what if I put it behind me? All right, the light's behind me now. Let's see if that's any better. <laughs> oh, it might be worse. Now I can't see. Oh my gosh, the joys of videoing. I can't see because the light's shining in my eyes. All right, let's just get on with it, sorry. I oh know it's annoying. Um, so there we go. There's the there's the Druzy Center. Looks really pretty. Now I'm going to see if I can show you the Druzy edge. No, it's a little bit difficult to pick it up. It just it doesn't like to focus on it. It's really pretty. It's really shiny and sparkly. Let's have a look and see what it looks like with some white behind it. I, haven't, I don't think I've got a, a white circle. I've got some white paper though. I'll just put it on that and we'll see what that looks like. There you go. Different look. There's the crystals again, sparkling away. I think I like it better with the black. Only because I can see the rainbow. Look at the rainbow, the sparkle is so pretty. All right, I've got a tiny little bit of overflow there. Not much at all. Oh, it's really pretty. Now I know I can put a little bit more colour in. I'm thinking maybe next time, um, like do a, a few rings. So I sort of get this kind of a look. So yeah, I, I think the, I like the dark, I like the light, and then maybe another little dark one would have been good. I just didn't want to have um, the edge too dark. I wanted to see the, the crystals. So there we go. Love it. Let me know what you think of it. And um, yeah, do you want to see any more of these Druzy Crystal Coasters? They're a lot of fun. Let me show you the edge. <laughs> I'll see if I can take a photo of the edge anyway. Um, maybe in the kitchen with the, the fluoro lights on. All right.
thanks for watching hope you've enjoyed this little video and uh, if you want to see some more of these let me know what other colors you'd like to see them in and uh, I'll see what I can do all right thanks for watching bye for now